Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can easily use fresh service for your uh, business or for your project. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just click here get started for free. I will just add here my first name, last name, business mail and click sign up for free. Now let's just wait until it's going to load and create an account and I'm going to show you how we can easily use fresh service. And here we go. So first thing you want to do is just simply click here. Let's get started. Now you got the help desk portal URL to create a CNAME record in your DNS zone file to point out your vanity road to your fresh domain. You can learn more in here. And this is going to be my help desk portal URL. Looks good. Now default support email. I'm going to have this one here or you can set up a new support email completely up to you. Again, you can click save. And now email has been saved. You can send test email. And now I will just add here the agent's email. Invite. And this is how you can invite your teammate right here in the getting started. You can add also multiple people. Click save. And here we go. So product overview, uh, this is pretty simple. And then we will get to it, how we can resolve tag, ticket, manage IT assets, etc. So then you can also process configurations and automate service desk. And I will show you how you can do it too. Of course, you will have always in the get started. So when you would come here, uh, you have dashboard. That's the first thing in the dashboard. You would see tickets, open tickets, tickets on hold. On the side, all tickets and just, just the dashboard of everything that's happening. When you would click here on the tickets, on a ticket, you can simply uh, go and see the tickets to what was happening. On the right side, you can see filter, agents, requests, and when it was created. Now, what you can do is to simply click on a ticket. Where can I find more information about employee health benefits? And you can reply, hi, ticket, and you would just write here the advice. So that's pretty much it, how you can do it. Also, you can also insert solution and can't response. This is like the automatic response that you can reply to with. So this is how the tickets work. Also on the right top side, you can reply. You can associate to new problem, existing problem, or you can merge at time, mark, spam, delete. Also on the right side, you would see properties. So you can change the priority of the ticket. You can change the status, the source, where it's from, type, impact, urgency, and you can also sign it to agent, group, and like which teams should solve it, department, category, and update. What you can do then also, is to add a time track, how much time you actually spend on this topic. Now, when you go further, you can see problems here. So this is the where you would find the problems that needs to be solved. And it's like really similar. Hi guys, we have been facing issues when we try to reach email server free. Looks like there is something wrong here, regards. And now you can add a solution, you can add analysis, Pretty straightforward, right? On the top right, you can update. And you can add a new solution for it. Then you're going to see changes here. Also pretty straightforward. You click on the change. Impact rollout plan, backout plan. Also, what you can do, what I want to share with you is you can go to top right and click plus here and you can add a new incident service requests. Problem, change, released, asset, contract, purchase order, or project. So this is what you can all do in first service. So the next thing are releases. So this is like the update for the software, etc. Then you're going to see the assets here. In the assets, you can see inventory, software, contracts, and purchase orders. On the inventory, that's what we have. I can go to top right, add new, and I can add a display name, asset tag, 
asset type and just really describe it as much as I want. When I go further, I can click here to software. And this is the software that we have. We can go to top right and click new software. And again, really describe it. I mean, the design, the user interface and experience is really similar. Uh, it's like different things you can achieve. So the software is really similar to the items that you have in your company. And you can easily add it right here. But it really depends what you have and what you need to add here. So I can really uh, generalize it because you can have like different software, right? So that's the first thing. Then you have contracts here. If you have any contracts, you can add a new contract really with the same style. Change the tenure of the contract, start date, end date. And then uh, you have got purchase orders. And it's also pretty similar. You go to top right and click new purchase order. Order name, currency, etc. Then you have projects here. You simply click projects. And you need to activate accounts to use those. You see project tasks here. Then you have solutions here. In solutions, uh, you can create an article. Then you can share it with the tickets that people are asking. Then you have like reporting here. Analytics and project analytics. So you would see all the data here and then admin uh, in which you can have like general settings here and help desk productivity. So yeah, if you're gonna have any questions guys, just ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. You know how it goes, you know how it is. It was like the quick or review how to work with it. Um, if you want like more advanced tutorial, I can create it like how it like completely works only because the first service tool from Freshworks is pretty straightforward and pretty easy in my opinion. So yeah, thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.